Are we good? The show, the Nodder Potters. You know, we'll get that private jet one of these days. <laughs> We're good? Hey, how's it going, Core Crush and Mike fans? Um, first off, can I just say thank you? We're almost at 300 subscribers. Uh, I'm pretty sure soon um, I'll be able to make a living purely off making these fishing videos. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Um, I'm going to monetize the shit out of these videos when we reach 1,000. And, uh, you know, we'll get that private jet one of these days. But, um, we're down here and we're in uh, Nantucket, Cape Cod. I don't really know where it is, somewhere in Massachusetts. Um, we kind of just got dropped off on a ferry somewhere and we've kind of just been living uh, on the beach here. We got a nice little makeshift shelter. We got some like wood set up. And uh, I gotta say the locals have been pretty nice. They've been coming down, bringing us, uh, you know, food, water, uh, a fresh bucket every day to, to pee in. So uh, I gotta say shout out. Hey, thanks again, Tom. All right, <laughs> yeah, you be good. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to call the cops if we don't leave soon, but he kind of just doesn't want us to sh all over the beach. But uh, the, the bite's been pretty good. A uh, mix of choves and um, nutter butters, I like to call them. We had a, a school greenbacks come through. We caught maybe 50 of them this morning. Uh, again, if you, if you aren't familiar, uh, nutter butters are the... Uh, I don't want that shit out of there. Uh, nutter butters are the uh, one to three inch peanut bunker. Um, I mean, maybe you call them peanut bunker if you're a loser, but, uh, you know, us real core crushers, we call them nutter butters. Um, there's been some uh, stripers. I like to call them zebra fish. They've been coming through, and uh, we had a couple of them. Actually, one guy knocked out, uh, got knocked out earlier. The bass were coming through so strong, one hit him in the head, you know, 50-pounder. Unfortunately, the fishing was too good. We had to let the guy float out. Uh, I think the Coast Guard got him. But uh, so we'll see what we can do. We're going to do some uh, some alby running up and down the beach, I call it, and uh, we'll see how we can do. So, again, I got... Actually, a big shout out to uh, Shakespeare. They sent me the uh, fugly stick um, intracoastal here. This is about, I don't know, like 15 feet. I don't know, I can't really tell. And uh, we got another uh, uh, Shimano uh, slam baster. Honestly, I don't know what it is, mono, braid, I can't tell anymore. But uh, so we'll see how we do. And so let's see what we can do. Let's go crush some uh, greenbacks on the nutter butters. <laughs> So again, it's virtually the same type of thing we're doing here. Uh, you want to get it, you want to whale it out as far as you can, let it slam down, you know the routine. If you haven't seen our first Alvi video, make sure you go check that out, all right? Now I'm going to teach you, there's a couple different cats, all right? We only broke into the, the basics last time, all right? So there's a couple different cats. Now the first one, uh, obviously the traditional one, we call this one the whaler. Uh, some people call it the Boston whaler. We're going to get it out there as far as we can. Look at that. That, see, that was too easy, you know? I like to leave that cast for the small child, the weak, uh, you know, pretty simple cast. Nothing crazy. Reel it in here. All right, again, obviously, get that some bitch out of the water. You know, reel it as fast as you can. All right. Now, this one's a little dangerous. You're going to want to make sure nobody's in the surrounding area. You may end up killing somebody doing this. Now, the trick to this one, we like to call this the whirly bird. Uh, this was developed in Vietnam fishing for trout in the rivers after they would, uh, the villages, they would come through and they would fish. So what I'll show you here is, it's a little, you know, here, let me take this one. A little hard to do with the corkers. It's kind of like the acrobatics of fishing here. But what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to get that line nice and tight. And then what you do is pretty simple. You start out, you do a little 360. And as you reach that peak, you kind of just let that line fly out. Kind of like, you know, a Hail Mary in the Super Bowl, all right? So what you do is pretty simple. You just do a little... Just like that. And that was 
That was probably 200 yards. Now, obviously, you want to get that, that rod in between your legs here, kind of like if you're a stripper cradling the stripper pole. And you just really want to get that thing going. You see, part of the whirly bird is the retrieve. you got to get that rod tip slamming around. And just like that, you got an easy 400, 500 yard cast, no problem. Now the last cast, this is only for experts, all right? We call this one slamming it off the backboard. Now what you're gonna wanna do is essentially do everything in reverse. Again, it's like a normal cast. What you do is start out, you get a little momentum going, go forward, and then you slam that back like that. Yep, just hit the water. Nice, all right. On. I, think, I think we got a fish on there actually. Oh, wait, gotta get that stripper pole going. Oh! Dude, I'm telling you. I'm all f***ed up now. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Shakespeare, hit me up, alright? I'm having problems here, you know? What the f going on, honestly? Every once in a while it's gonna happen, you know? This is part of being a good alley fisherman is fixing problems on the fly, you know? Oh, right there on the drop. Just had one on the drop. Come back, like that. Just like that. Yep, that's pretty good. Touchdown. And then we get that stripper pole action going on and you really, really, really have strong bench in there. Oh! Just like that. Just like that. That's what we're talking about. All right, just like that, baby. A couple whirly bird casts, we're on. Now, same thing goes again. You want to lift, bend. We got one on the, uh, the Pogi uh, Poxy here, 5,000. Did a couple whirly birds for a couple hours. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, we we're at a couple hundred yards at least, but, uh, Again, this, fighting these fish is pretty simple. You just want to keep pressure, you know? Again, if you need to, let them take line, you know? Take your time with these fish. And again, you really want to lift them and pull them in. Again, you got to be careful. There's a lot of rocks and boulders out there, you know? A lot of people think you want to keep them uh, away from it. I say let them rub up against the rocks. Maybe they'll hit the head, get a little disorientated. Be a little bit easier to bring in, you know? Again, it ain't that hard. All right. Again, it's pretty easy when you land them. You don't have to pick them up and slam them down. You can kind of just drag them along the rocks as if they're a piece of garbage, you know? It's all really, really simple. Just get that. Oh, f And again, it's really simple. So you just slide them up, kind of like that. Try not to hit that giant tree. And just like that. Now, obviously, I'm gonna go get my camera ready. Again, I have this fish uh, sitting. There's a little pool of water over there. He'll be all right, you know? But, uh, we gotta get the photo shoot ready. So, you know, after the bite dies down, you know, here's a little insider trick, uh, tip. If you're a pro staffer like me, you know, money's good, but it ain't always that good, you know? So what we like to do down here, we find a nice big stone, uh, tree. I believe this is a hickory. It's about a uh, 45 foot lawn. I'm thinking it's about probably 120 years old. So it makes a good uh, good side to shelter. We got a couple rocks here. And you can see somebody's, uh, you wanna pan over here actually, show that? Somebody clearly had made a bed here before. So, uh, you know, a lot of fly guys, they, you know, they're really poor. You know, a lot of fly guys, you know, they're always struggling because they can never catch fish. So, uh, you know, if they always have a hard time. I'm assuming probably a fly fisherman lived here. Uh, he probably died too. It might have been the guy that got knocked out earlier today by those bass. But uh, so it's pretty simple. Um, again, I found the stripping basket probably from the dead fly fisherman. And all you got to do is you just got to take that. You just got to make it nice and comfy for yourself, you know. You know, if you need to, use a hat, cover it up. Obviously, I pee just right where I'm laying. I just pull my waders down and just pee all over those stones. It's pretty natural. But, uh, I mean, living is good down here. You know, I see why a lot of people live down here on the Cape. You know, it's pretty comfortable. And uh, you, don't, you really only have to deal with raccoons a couple times a night. You know, they come down and, you know, they'll try and take a nibble at your boot. You just give them an old cook. Get out of here, damn raccoons. You know, something like that. So that's a little pro, -sider, uh, pro insider tip. Just figured uh, I'd let you guys in. So if you ever see me sleeping down by the, uh, 
you know, the inlet or on a beach somewhere. I'm not homeless. I'm not homeless. I have a nice house. Uh, I just do this because, um, you know, it kind of makes me one with nature. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, it's not that bad down here, you know. Kind of get used to it. I can see it being a problem if you uh, actually match with somebody on Tinder. You know, you're probably gonna have to find a, uh, you know, a girl who's got some fishing in her blood, but I mean, again, it's pretty comfortable, you know? You can kind of lay, kind of get as comfortable as you want. I like sleeping like this a lot. You know, I find it's, it's pretty scary for animals when they come up and they see me like this. I make my body bigger, like a mountain lion or a cougar, you know, and, uh, or like a bear. And, you know, when somebody sees you sleeping like this in the middle of the night, I'll tell you one thing, they're not gonna mess with you. All right, they see you doing something like this, they're like, well, I fuck that guy's fucking possessed or something, you know? But, uh, I guess it's not pretty bad. I'm thinking about coming up here. I just heard the winters are pretty harsh, so maybe I need to get a space heater down here or something like that, you know? But, uh, again, oh. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Yep, say hi to Nancy for me, all right? Okay, yeah. I'll take a new bucket if you want to bring one down in a couple hours, yeah. Yep, all right, thanks. Well, you know, tide's dwindling down. The bite definitely slowed down. Again, we had a great afternoon. As you saw, we had a couple of, uh, you know, greenbacks, again, on the nutter butter bite. Oh, no, it was just a, uh, just a whale. But, um, yeah, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, I did get a, a notice from the local police department to maybe vacate the premises. They said someone else had booked this spot for the week. But, uh, I mean, you know, we'll see. I had a great time. Again, big shout out to all the uh, Cape Codians around. You know, I like to call them the capers. And... Uh, you know, uh, again, very hospital, uh, hospital people, you know, very hospital. And um, like, so again, big shout out again, uh, Tommy, uh, uh, Tom that lives on uh, the, the bluffs here. He's been bringing me food and water. So I probably would have died about three days ago. Um, again, I have money. I just can't be bothered. You know, when the fish are biting, the choves, the nutter butters, you know, we had a, the Albies were on a Ballyhoo the other day. They were ballyhoo off the beach and they were crushing them. Sailfish, all that. I wish I had my uh, 17 weight. I would have probably got a new state record. Sailfish off the beach in Martha's Vineyard or Cape Cod or wherever the f we're at. I don't even know to be honest with you anymore. But uh, again, I want to say a big thank you to everybody for the positive, uh, the positive um, feedback I'm getting on these videos. People are saying kill more fish and crush them. Um, you know, slap some people with your pokey jigs and I promise we'll have more of that again, you know. Usually I fish in places where there are a lot of people so I can kind of show off, you know, kind of, you know, uh, flex on people when I'm catching fish. But it's, yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice to get away every once in a while, you know, and it's, you kind of become one with nature, you know, when you, you know, you're taking shits in the dunes. It's, honestly, it's a life-changing experience and I'm happy I came. But, uh, again, so until next time, make sure you guys subscribe, you know. We're trying to make money, you know. Obviously, I'm down here. I'm, I'm, you know, not homeless, but I'm living by a tree. You know, it'd help if you could subscribe every once in a while. But, uh... All right, and as always, guys, slam it, cores!